There's two methods for aligning our float rail. We're just going to show one method here where we're going to take the reference from our master rail, bring it over through the carriage, and then align the float rail. But before, before I do that, I'm going to install cover strip on my master rail. Cover strip is to protect these holes where I put my socket head cap screws from uh, being filled with debris. So you always really want to wear gloves when handling this because the edges are quite sharp. And what it does is it just snaps on the rail. I'm just going to give it an initial snap here. But now to finish the job, I'm going to use one of the cover strip installation tools. Now I don't put on my ends yet, but I do want to tap these down with a mallet to ensure that I don't cut my, my hand or the seals during the installation of the blocks. So now it's time to install our blocks. As you'll see, our blocks have a reference edge and a non-reference edge. The non-reference edge is easily identifiable by having the part number on it. For this assembly, I want to keep my reference edges to the inside here. Normally these blocks would have a plastic mandrel inside which we recommend during installation. However, I've already removed them for demonstration purposes. So now it's time to install our carriage block. As you'll see, I have precision reference edges here on the inside and on the outside, I'm using set screws to push the blocks up against the reference edge of the carriage. Now I'm going to finger tighten my bolts that are connecting my carriage plate to my runner blocks. So now I'm going to finger tighten all the set screws on both sides of the float rail as well as the reference rail. Now I'm going to finish tightening the set screws on the side of the reference rail. Now that I've finished tightening my set screws, now it's time to tighten the top in a star pattern to the specified torque. Now that I've established a reference from my rail into this side of the carriage, I'm going to bring the reference over to this side of the carriage. And I'm going to start by finish tightening the set screws on this side. Now tighten the top in a star pattern 